Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with yesterday or the day before his 12 by 16 inch gallery wrap canvas and uh, it's not thrilling me. I have Blooming Technique paints which are mixed with three parts untinted acrylic before you add the color to it. It's a number three. Anyway, so I have pillow paints in jars and I did one of these recently and I like the results. You have to be a little careful about where you're choosing to put your new pillow, but I like the idea of trying new things. And so that's pretty much the, the bottom line to this. I figure I've been dumping dots of paint from the other way that I do things for quite a while now, acrylic pouring. And I really just think this needs to be zhuzhed up a little bit. And so I'm going to try and take some of my cell activator, which I've realized most of my other colors, the acrylic colors are already. So now there I've got a bloom and that's cool. And in reality, I could probably just tip that around and be pretty happy with it, but um, the idea of actually getting the cells to do what I want on a secondary pour appeals to me greatly, so I'm going to very slowly, as per usual with this method, tip my paint and hope that there's a good chance that I can keep a lot of what I see some of that's going to have to do with me spreading it. Now I've got some gold cell activator that doesn't seem to work very well for me. So my idea is if I use it up here and then try and pour my paint. I also want something to catch my paint in and I, it occurs to me they're all indoors. Oh well, never mind. So I'm just going to use that and hope that I can get away with this. And it does sort of seem a lot like I'm going to. I'm going to use a little more paint, pillow paint. Because even though it's slow and it's heavy, experience tells me that I've got a good chance at using it to uh, lead other paint down. So I'm just going to keep trying that see if I can get away with it. I'm going to grab my straw. See if I can encourage some of that. I wonder how wide I want that to go. And I am inclined. Yes, I'm still tipping put some more cell activator. Well, you know what? I think what's going to happen is I'm going to just keep experimenting with the pillow paint. I got it. I never seem to remember that this other stuff, this house paint drips like a son of a gun. I want to use that gold. I really, really do. And I'm thinking that maybe I could just play with it with a swipe card briefly. And that might work. Because the swipes seem to work for me when, when blooms don't always do so. And so far I'm not hating any of that, but I think this could take an awful long time, <laughs> honestly. longer than either one of us has the patience for. But I don't I haven't wasted too much paint anywhere. And I like what I've got a lot better than I did, but it's not keeping me from wanting to do something else. 
I've got some white mica powder and I'm very curious as to what I can do with it as to whether it will cooperate or not. I've also got some cell activator that I used gold magenta on. Now I keep hearing people say you have to let it sink but it doesn't look like it's sinking to me. But evidently it does react. That's good. Just a little bit of blowing. I kind of did like that um, that area with the cells and I wonder if I can get away with sort of hurting paint. Because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Just using my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to um, send the paint in a direction that I might want it to go as opposed to having to blow it with a straw. I'm inclined to keep, just keep playing. So I love those little cells right there, but <laughs> whoops, that was more than I expected. Oh well, never mind. So let's just break out of my comfort zone here. That is, no, that's paint. I want cell activator. I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of this slowly. Do you have to sink? I don't see you sink. Go ahead, sink. <laughs> really? Composing with blooming. Techniques. Different than doing it any other way, I suspect. And there's so many cool things around it I really don't want to see go away. It encourages me to just want to... take chances with my straw and manipulate things with my spatula. Because if I don't do it, who's going to do it? Somebody will do it, but I'm doing it. Not impressed with that white cell activator yet, and I really do love this pink. I don't think it's going to hurt anything to add a little bit of it in there. I quite like it. And I'm inclined to use it in more than one place. Because it still seems to maintain its color no matter what. And I'm ha much happier than I was. And every time I pop a bunch of really beautiful little cells, I get all excited every time. I'm just going to use my other paint colors. This is, uh, this reminds me of a poppy in here. Probably not for long, though. <laughs> all right, so what else do I want to do? I kind of want... You know, as much as I like that, I like this other color better. And um, not only that, this is a little lackluster up here. So I'm just going to give myself permission. Grab another, oops, I put that paint stick down in the wrong spot. I'm, I'm really want to discover all of the ways to do this thing. Um, do I want that? No. I like that white mica. But I've got to use the cell activator. So I'm just going to swing this turntable around. We are taking our time.
Not my favorite glasses, I gotta say, but oh well. Yeah, we got something happening now. I want more of that um, purple. Put down a little more paint pillow. Grab a little pink. A little. <laughs> Very little. Let's just do that. I use whatever tools are handy, as you can see. And cell activator. Does it want to be white again? No, I want the black. I actually want the gold to work, but it doesn't, so I'm not using it. And I could swipe this. I really want to try swiping with a spatula, but I got a bad feeling it would just pretty much annihilate the whole thing. And I was kind of hoping that was going to work, and it kind of is. Oh, the white sheets underneath my, uh, underneath my canvas are um, dog food bags. I saved them and washed them out and cut them up, and um, I didn't know what I was saving them for until now. <laughs> Go figure. All right, so my, um, most of this is a, making me a lot happier, for sure. For sure, for sure. I think I can use the spatula to push things to places I want it without feeling like I'm creating any bad juju. That, I don't want there. And I scraped it off with my fingernail, yay! All right, so what else do I want? I think what I want is to go ahead and be belligerent. And even though I really like those cells there, and I'm not going to do that last spot. I was, but I'm not. And I know this is kind of weird because I'm not using huge pillows of paint, but that is part of my attempt at changing up what I'm told I have to do and do what I can do and what I want to do. And I think it's going to be black cell activator. There might be some more of it, but I am getting a few cells, just not as many as I was expecting. A little more pink right there, I think. I like the white, but I and I don't really want to annihilate it, but it is the pillow part of this process. So many peas! <laughs> Priscilla said. Sorry. getting to be something more like what I want. I love the dimensionality of doing this, actually, to tell you the truth. And I kind of like that green, but I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to. But I am enjoying moving paint with my spatula. I'm not sure I've moved it to the place it's supposed to be. And I see that I'm digging up pillow paint, but I don't think that matters. I'll let you know. Let's grab a little bit of cell activator, or a lot, and um, put some pillow paint next to it, because I can, and uh, I'm a risk taker. <laughs> I get no cells out of that gold at all. That is a drag. And I really don't want to destroy all the cool things about this, but I have things that I want to get rid of. And I'm perfectly welcome. I'm perfectly willing. I got distracted, sorry. 
to uh, to keep experimenting until we run out of time, which is like a minute and 28 seconds. So it's not long from now. And uh, I'll have a few minutes after that to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. I'm going to sneeze too, I think. Pretty sure. Good possibility. <laughs> Excuse me. And that pink cell activator does work. I just, I'm not so sure that the constitution of the colors doesn't make a big difference. And I'm not beyond using my fingers, and I'm not the only one from what I, the comments you guys are leaving me are telling me that everybody's playing with this stuff. So thank you, Color Art, for, you know, enhancing our creativity magnificently. And yeah, I am kind of using my cell activator as something other than just a cell activator. It's black, it's thin, it flows nicely, and um, I'm happy to abuse it, honestly. Yeah, that golden as a cell activator works really nicely. I'm going to keep using my tell you guys that if you want me to stay at YouTube, the most important thing you can do to help me do that is to watch the videos longer. Because if you do that, then the YouTube algorithm, which only knows watching the videos longer, might help me stay. I'm still not getting very many views, and there are 80, 85,000 plus of you. Yeah, I'm just going to use that to drag some of that. I like most of this a lot better than I did before I started. I'm not sure if I need to do anything else or not. I'm kind of um, kind of thinking down here would be something that would be of interest to me. So why don't I just do that very quickly? Even though there's some gorgeous cells there, I want to get that hair off of my paint container and operate quickly. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill. I have Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. The Appreciation Group is for students. Fans and Collectors is obvious. Totes and more shows you my posts on Fine Art America and Pixels.com since 2013. I don't mind if any of that moves. My last batch of cells, the orange mica powder with the golden magenta works beautifully, just totally beautifully. And I'm so much happier now that I have messed with this piece. And I do see everything is moving, but none of it is bothering me. And I know you're not supposed to torch because somebody says that um, house paint is a problem. But maybe it's because I moved my torch fast enough. I've got one minute left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is I have Teespring clothing under the video. I'm so much happier with this. I love the double process of the blooming technique. And I also don't mind torching. But move quick. You're going to do it my way. I do. I just like the multiple layers. I could probably add something in here too, but um, if I do that, I'll do that after you're gone. So what can I tell you? I have um, a, a monthly drawing and there are eight paintings and either one of my books or a lesson. All up for grabs the third week in February. And I have playlists on my channel a thousand videos organized by the hundreds and also by genres. I should never do anything after I torch. I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expression Art Studio Gallery saying, see you again soon. There's always a video. Check the cha check my community board for tomorrow's videos. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.